I've just been offered a challenge I, I want to uh, actually read to you and uh, respond to. And the challenge is this. Uh, Christian apologetics has not been successful in stemming the tide of secularism. Is apologetics a failure? Well, one could ask the question this way. The church has not been successful in stemming the tide of secularism. Is the church a failure? Gee, I don't think most Christians would want to say that because Jesus said the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Just because secularism is rampant does not necessarily mean that the church is a failure or that apologetics is a failure. The two particular points about apologetics, and I just mentioned the church to show you that this way of asking the question might not tell you anything significant. And one reason is this presumes that uh, apologetics has been tried thoroughly and vigorously and thoughtfully with a good attitude and a good presentation in the culture and the culture has rejected it. That's not true. There has been a great resurgence in the last 20 years of uh, thoughtful Christianity making Christianity not only palatable intellectually but um, engaging people in a way that looks more like diplomacy than D-Day. Those are really important things and boy we're improving on that massively. Fabulous. But there's nothing like a thoroughgoing church-wide effort to accomplish that. Who knows what would happen to the culture if we did that. And the second thing is, the first being, it's not clear to me that it's been tried enough to be able to use that, this secularism in the culture right now as a, as a guideline of how effective it is. Um, 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 secondly, um, I don't think it's the goal of apologetics to win the culture. I think it's the goal of apologetics to win people. <laughs> Once you win people, then you disciple them. Once you disciple them, in the process of their growing in Christ, then they have an impact in the culture. So whatever impact there is in the culture is not measured by the effectiveness of apologetics, but rather by the effectiveness of the church. And the church can be expanded as we rescue people out of the culture by giving a thoughtful, gracious, compelling, insightful, clear characterization not only of the truth but the reasons why people should take the truth seriously. So everything that I've seen in the last 20 years in terms of the impact of apologetics in people's lives, bringing them into the body of Christ and then making them more effective ambassadors to the culture has, has, has uh, caused me to conclude that this is part of our answer. It isn't a failure. We have success stories all over the place. We just have to do more of it. We just have to have more and more Christians that are disciples of Christ with their minds as well. And they are living this out in their culture. And then their transformed lives become a testimony. And as they contend for the truth, both in theological areas drawing people to Christ, and also for moral and ethical areas that are policy issues in the culture, we will see transformation. When people take the gospel seriously, and I mean people who are followers of Christ take following Christ seriously, things changed. Apologetics can help increase the number of those who take the gospel seriously. And the more we do that, the stronger the church will be and more culture will change.